Uh, 20 out of A. We're going to go wide on the jib. Come on down into a two shot. Stand by Linda and Brian Smite. Three, two, roll A, track A. Ah, uh, here's a good old one. Just from our original ad campaign in 1995 when we went on the air. You have golf clubs. You have golf artwork. You have a dog named Arnie. What's next? The Golf Channel presents... I'd like to introduce to you the living legend, Mr. Arnold Palmer. What it is, is a 24-hour Golf Channel network. The Golf Channel. This is the story of a long shot that paid off. I knew very little about golf. I'd never been in production, and I didn't have any real big money to launch a channel. A partnership between a visionary businessman and an iconic golfer. People loved Arnold Palmer. I loved Arnold Palmer. I wanted to do it with Arnold and I'm glad I did. Joe was the guy that made me feel comfortable. We want to be in the foxhole with him. Their idea was met with resistance and skepticism. As any great idea, when it's first presented, it's met with tremendous second-guessing, doubt, and ridicule. All golf, all the time, 24 hours. What a stupid idea, it'll never make it. <laughs> there was plenty of questions about, like, Who's going to watch it? We were kind of figuring it out as we went. It all led to a final frantic push before launch. When I got here, there was no carpet on the floor. We had some great putting contests. 50 to 75 yards of a hallway with no carpet on it. Man, that was some fast green right there. You would leave here on a Friday, and there'd be a hallway. Come back on Monday, the hallway was gone. There was a 90 degree turn, and there was an office. We're waiting for control rooms to be built tape rooms to be ready and edit bays to be set up. We had editors working in janitorial rooms. If we were just expanding faster than we could build. A lot of people talk about this business being controlled chaos. It was almost uncontrolled chaos at the beginning. It was the best of times and it was the worst of times. Here we go, stand by VTA. It was just a matter of getting it all together and ready by the 17th of January. Ready sound full, backed up on red. So much risk. And 10. So much work. Nine. Einstein said 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Six to A. And I think he's absolutely right. Five. You can get a good idea, but now you've got to put years of hard work into it. Four to A. This is day one. Roll A, track A. Take the story of the launch of Golf Channel. Coming down to the jib, camera two, stand by. Linda and Brian's mic. More than three and a half years after businessman Joe Gibbs first conceived of Golf Channel, January 17th, 1995, day one arrived. At a hotel near the Golf Channel's Orlando headquarters, Gibbs and Arnold Palmer hosted a countdown to launch party for more than 600 people. You're throwing a heck of a party here tonight. Well, we're having a good time. We're excited. It's been a long time coming, so we're going to uh, relax tonight and enjoy ourselves. A few minutes. How close are we, Joe? Two minutes. <laughs> we're all nervous. The launch party. Clocks counting down. What do you guess you were thinking in those final moments before Golf Channel officially launches? Is on the air. The relief after three and a half years of beating my head against the wall that we we're finally on the air was tremendous. Moments before 7 p.m., Gibbs and Palmer, the men most responsible for this night, pull the switch with an oversized golf ball on top and ceremoniously signal Golf Channel's arrival on air. Well, he was so excited we finally gotten on the air and Arl and I pulling the ball. That was a great moment. <laughs> the network would sign on seconds later with The Approach, a preview show highlighting what viewers could expect to see. Good evening, my fellow Americans and my fellow golfers. I'm delighted to be part of this special occasion as the Golf Channel goes on the air tonight. 
I said I wasn't nervous, but when when you have a show open that leads into you being on camera that has George Bush opening things up, and then you've got all these other dignitaries. You had Dan Marino, you had Bryant Gumbel, you had all these other stars, you know, saying Vince Gill, wishing you the best of luck on the launch of the Golf Channel. You're going, oh, okay, this, I guess this is a pretty big deal here. It's time to tee it up. Roll it, boys. everyone you are watching the golf channel the first 24-hour network devoted exclusively to the greatest game ever conceived golf we are live from our fabulous new studios in orlando florida and this is the approach i'm linda cardwell and i'm brian hammond this truly is an historic night imagine golf anytime you want it 24 hours a day seven days a week more than first of all i'm wearing a tux so that that doesn't happen a lot I felt like David Letterman or something. We've got a live studio audience in there with journalists and, and dignitaries and people that were invited to watch the launch of the Golf Channel. That is why we're here tonight, to tell you what you'll be seeing and who you'll be seeing on the Golf Channel. You'll learn which woman on tour is the deadliest putter inside 10 feet. You'll see which player on the PGA Tour is the best at saving par from the sand, who's the most accurate senior with the long iron. We'll give the stats that tell it all. In the final moments of the opening hour, Brian Hammonds delivered a line that Three, would become his catchphrase. Two, Thanks for watching, and keep it in the short grass. I think it was Mark Friedman that wrote the show, or our producer at the time, and he wrote that in. That was the way he had me saying goodbye, and I said, well, what is this? He said, ah, it, it's kind of cool. You might want to say it. So I, I just kept it. At 9 p.m., Golf Channel's live programming ended. In the studio, Joe Gibbs led a round of applause for a job well done. The staff then gathered for a toast. I still have this champagne bottle with the date on it. To this day, it's on a shelf at my house. A lot of us looked around and said, wow, I'm not sure we ever thought we'd be here. Despite launching in only 10,000 households, what once seemed impossible had now been an unqualified success. Golf Channel was on the air. January 17, 1995, day one was now done. It's fun to know that the excitement of that night and the hope of a, of a group of people actually turned out to be well-founded.